very hard to come out. I tried to come out every day, still, and I wouldn't be any other way. I like myself. I don't hate myself anymore. Being out is a lot more fun. I think I stand as a, a good example of what's possible. I came out of so much degradation and hopelessness. And today I live in joy and peace, surrounded by my grandchildren. I want them to know that their grandpa did something. It's important that our stories be collected, have a central place where people can find them and, uh, and share them. Outwards is important because it shares these, these histories. As long as there are humans on the planet, I want them to know that lives can be transformed by love and can be made possible by connection. We live with a window of opportunity, and that window can be slammed shut at any time. And if we don't keep reminding people that we're here and we're not going anyplace, and you can either hate us or love us, and it's a hell of a lot more pleasant to love us than to hate us. Be open and accepting more of, a, of people who are different. Society has gradually started improving, but not enough to really get with the program of being open and accepting to everyone. We're no different than somebody else. What I've already seen is way beyond anything I would have ever dreamed about. Because I come out of an era for which there was no history. Even today when I tell my story, there's disbelief on faces. They really, really don't think that some of my experiences are real. I filed a case, it was called One versus Olson, when my fellow lawyers found out that I had taken this, it caused great amusement. I had to explain I am not gay, never have been, never expect to be, but uh, it made an interesting civil liberties case. There really was an iron curtain until that time over anything to do with homosexuality. And this was a, the first crack in the curtain. I've seen a lot of changes. Um, the most positive changes I have seen is in the fact that gay people have become a, a community uh, and all the real sense of that word. I've seen the attitudes of people in general change about race, about uh, gender, sexual identity. So I'd like to see some more changes, positive, that keep on going on. As I look back at the positive changes, and of course there are negative ones, that have been brought about in my lifetime. I hope that those changes will expand, and in particular, that our country's acceptance and support of human diversity will continue to enlarge. It's a dream. It's okay for me to dream, I say. <laughs>